Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Stephen, and today I'll be reading John chapter 6. John chapter 6. After these things, Jesus went over to the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. To the great multitude followed him because they saw his signs. When he performed on those who were diseased, and Jesus went up on the mountain, and then he sat with the disciples. Now the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was near. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming to towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But then, but this he said to test him, but for him he himself knew that he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish but what are they among so many then jesus said make the people sit down now there was much grass in the place so the men sat down in number about about five thousand and jesus took the loaves and when he had gave the thanks he distributed them to the disciples and the disciple to those sitting down and likewise of the fish as much as they wanted so when they were filled he said to the disciples gather up the fragments that remain so that nothing is lost Therefore they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves which were left over by those who had been eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the signs that Jesus did, said, This is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. Therefore when Jesus perceived that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he departed again to the mountains by himself alone. Now when evening came, his, his disciples went out to the sea got into the boat and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was already dark, and Jesus had not come to them. Then the sea arose, because a great wind was blowing. So when they had rowed about two, three to four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near the boat, and they were afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they willingly received him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land where they were going. On the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there except the, that one one which is his disciples had entered and that jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples but his disciples had gone away alone however other boats came from tiberius near the place where they ate bread after the lord had given thanks when people there foresaw that jesus was not there nor his, his disciples they got also into boats and came to capernaum seeking jesus and when they found him the other on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered and said, Most assuredly they say to you, You seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set his seal on him. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God. That you believe in him whom he sent therefore they said to him what sign will you perform that we may see it and believe you when work will you do our father ate the manna in the desert as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to eat then jesus said to them most assuredly i say to you moses did not give you the bread from heaven but my father gave you the true bread from heaven for the bread of god he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you, that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me i shall i shall lose nothing but should raise it up at the last day and this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the son and believes in him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day the jews then complained about him which he said i am the bread which came down from heaven and they said is not this jesus the son of joseph whose father and mother we know how is it that he says i come from heaven Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and it all shall be taught by God. 
Then for everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. He has seen the Father most assuredly I say to you. He who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven. That one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him, as the living Father sent me. And I will live because of the Father. He who has feed on me who will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue and as he taught in Capernaum. Therefore many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can understand it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, Does this offend you? What then if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak... To you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some you who do not believe. For Jews, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and who would betray him. And he said, Therefore I have said to you that no one came to me unless it had been granted to him by my Father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life yet also we have come to believe in knowing that you are the christ the son of the living god jesus answered them did i not choose you the twelve and no one of you is a devil he spoke of judas Iscariot, the son of simon for it was he who would betray him being one of the twelve john chapter six you and john chapter seven